That is dead gum. Damn lawn cart, I call it lawn cart. It's, it's made out of bed framing material, shit. I think if, uh, I think if me, if, if me and my wife got on this thing, we'd probably put a big old banana in it. Sound cheesy they are. They're, they're made really, really thin. In fact, I think bed frame material is the same gauge. Because that's a bed frame. It's the same damn gauge. They're just not made for for to drive a riding lawnmower upon. You know, it's just that's just for looks, people people. Just just for looks. We just want it to look good, you know, until you buy the damn thing and tear it up, you know. But you know, if you're having problems straightening one out, man, this, this tongue was flopping around like a loose noodle, man. So we had to, we had to, this was bowed way up in the air. That, that down there was uh, sagging and, and it was causing all this right here to, to so I put some Unistrut in there. What'd you say, son? I said that. Move the jack. Yeah, the jack is the other Yeah, so we had to, we had to put that rebar down there and force it down. And then I had to force the tongue because it was doing a, a banana up in the air down. I ro 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 rolled out some 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 makeshift damn angle iron and run up on that thing with old Louise there and flatten the top out. She's perfect. Took a I took a big crescent and straightened all that angle iron out. And that Unistrut is strong shit. Here, let me help you. I'm gonna go back over here. We're gonna cut away all this crap here. I whacked it off right there. Somebody took some uh, square tubing that looked like it went to a, a, a set of golf clubs or something, you know? One of them caddies, golf club caddies. You know? I'm gonna cut this out, and then I'm gonna. Let's see, where's that there? There it is. I think I'm gonna upgrade to something better than any, uh, bed framing material. No, this is this is bed frame material right there too. But it's thicker. It's thicker. So I'm gonna cut me a 90 degree on this one, like a little triangle out, and bend it over to here. Past this past this crap that's all bent to shit so I don't have to straighten none of that and we're just gonna that way if I just cut a triangle out like this a perfect triangle you can bend this like so and then put one weld in the, on the corner and that way it's you don't have to weld a corner on there and all that crap you know so you like that's the, you have to weld the corner you know it's it's actually you know two pieces welded together and if you just bend it it's one piece and it's a lot stronger, so. Yeah, that dude's, that dude's uh, definitely gonna be happy when he sees his trailer. He's gonna be able to, he's gonna be able to load his girlfriend and his wife up on his truck and run up on that thing and, and, and go to a rally and stack that sucker full of crap like the old women like to do when they go to a rally. You leave with hardly anything and you come back with a whole world, you know what I'm saying? Going to the bike rally, shit, she, she'll pack that thing full. Go with an empty trailer and come back with it loaded. Yeah, my, my wife, when I went to bike rallies, we had to have a, a follow truck. Something to put the tent and everything in. You know, I tried going one year with uh, just the motorcycle and her, and I looked like a ball of yarn going down the damn road. Shit was stacked so far on me and the bike and everything else, you couldn't even see the bike. So we just decided from now on just to... You know, when we go to a rally, we just take a damn trailer and a truck, or at least a truck, and just that way you can be living life to the fullest. You can have an air conditioner for your tent, and a generator to power the air conditioner, and, and coolers, and all kinds of neat stuff. We have even a, a, a little tiny refrigerator. Put you a little porta potty on there. I had a lot of good times, man. I'm gonna try to get this trike. I'm gonna show you a video of it. I gotta paint this truck for it. It's a Volkswagen ass end. I'd love to have a Harley trike, but you know, they're expensive and until Robert comes down here and shows me how to make this money, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy that Volkswagen. 
It's got a brand new motor on it. Just needs to be put back together. I hear they're real simple to work on. And here I am talking about other dumb shit when we should be talking about how to fix this trailer. I gotta get off here, it's getting dark. I gotta put a new tongue on that thing too. I hope you hold your stuff and get you here, man. I'm gonna be done with this damn thing today. Yeah. See this dig I'm crap so damn cheesy. It did another banana. <laughs> it's alright, we'll flip them over and bend them the other way later. <laughs> Oh, well here's the progress, y'all. We're making progress. Oh yeah. We've got one more beam right here to put in. It's gonna go right up in there in between them two. And that way we'll have it at every six foot. The total length of this thing I think is uh 25 feet. No, 24 feet. 24 feet and a little bit more. So every six inches, I mean every six feet is where there's a, a brace. And uh, that's gonna be awesome, man. I even made it go a little higher than the existing uh, structure over there. It's where you can have your, your overhang go over the top of the, that one and that way you won't have no water coming down in here, see? We're gonna have to lift its power lines, man. We have to put that anchor that holds that Holes in wires. I'm gonna have to raise it up about a foot. Take me a, a, some kind of cable or ratchet strap and take that little loop thing right there that holds the wire on the anchor. Because right now, them wires are resting on top of the purlin. And you don't want that shit blowing in the wind and rubbing some holes in some shit and welding. We don't need a disco show. Yeah, we don't need a dead gum fireworks show. Yeah, you can see this building, boy. He slapped shit together, man, I tell you. He's, he's redoing all of it, trying to trying to do the best he can to make it look good, you know? Do it right instead of shitty like that. And the other way up there, you got, oh, whatever it is, you got a certain, you got a real thick gauge coming in off the of, off of line. And then if you'll notice, it, 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 it ties into this tie little fucking wire to go and they don't even have a weather head up there. No weather head. And we're gonna fix all that shit too. Put us another put us another meter pan in there, run it alongside that one. And you gotta have your weather head so far above your structure and supported. And you gotta have a grip loop. You don't want your water running down the wire and off into your damn pole, off into your pipes and shit. That's what a weather head's for. And a drip loop is where the water comes dripping down on the lower part of that loop. Water don't go uphill. That way that water don't get inside that, that, that conduit. Anyway. I'm trying to bring it back in and it won't do it. There it is. There it is. Yeah, that's our plasma cutter. That's gonna come in handy, paint body work. I love it. Gotta love it, like church's chicken, baby. Yeah, we just had it fixed in service, and uh, I like it. I see all these fine little lines that our people work do with the plasma cutter, and I just haven't figured out how come this thing don't cut them real tiny and smooth. Maybe I don't have a right tip on it or something. Somebody give me some input on these damn plasma cutters. How do you get a real tiny line? Nice and neat line, not no damn. Let's see if I can find something. I mean, it was messy. Can't even find it. Let me see. Yeah, look at this. I want to get cleaner than that, you know? That's just something we shoo, you know, and it's like it must take a little trick to do it to hold it steady or something, but this thing it, it was it was eating it up, you know, I gotta hand it to it. it. It chops the shit out of it, but I want I want fine, nice, neat lines, not no damn half job like that. Does it need another tip? Do I need to turn this shit down? What do I need to do, man? I don't know nothing about plasma cutter. It has pictures on here. One shows a picture of a of a 
of a wide straight down and then another one at an angle and then another one something else what are these different settings right here somebody can answer that question for me i know they can i know this is our air pressure right here and i know this is our amps and you know and i know that you got to have all your water out of there and a certain amount of pressure and you adjust your, your pressure according to your amps but i want to know what what these different symbols mean i do not know nothing about them. And which one is best at cutting fine little lines on? The middle one, the up one, or the down one? I need to know what does what. I'll just tinker with it until I figure it out. Anyway, I gotta see y'all later. My son, he's probably throwing a fit right now because I'm screwing off. I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs>